a little taste of New Orleans. How's it going, Eric? It's going well, thanks. How's it going, Rob? Very good. I'll, I'll stand over here so I can get you both in a shot. The back of the... Uh, I really should have brought what, what, what something else. else. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> this is my professional uh, production abilities. So, tell me a little bit about NolaCon. We are a HackerCon in New Orleans, hence the NOLA part. It's uh, year six this year, so we've been going for a little while, uh, up to about 400 people, 400 to 500 people, some of mix. We do some trainings just before the conference, then we run the conference over a weekend. Cool beans. Anything particular you're looking forward to this year? We have one of our sponsors coming to do a hardware hacking CTF, which is the first time we've had that. So that should be pretty fun. Uh, we've got the uh, OSINT CTF from CG Silvers, which is awesome. Everyone always likes that. Cool. And then for our Saturday night party, we have uh, DJ Fuzzy Knob and Dual Core performing. And that's always, always a good time. Nice. Thanks. This is the mezzanine level where NOLACON will be happening. Bourbon House Seafood, the little restaurant that's built into the hotel. Got a crystals down here. School here. Okay, let's see if this will work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Menu. Let's see what we got. Erase, signal, recovery, set point max, set point min, max setback, setback min. Well, let's select this one and turn it all the way down because I'm not sure which one does what. And let's see if we can escape out of that. All right, maybe this one would get us out of that. All right, and let's set point this one, Min, also. Okay, that's good. And let's hold this down for a few seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And yippee! Night before the talks start at NolaCon, got a little bit of uh, people partying down the streets. Off here on Bourbon Street. Let me see if I can get a shot down the street. Sorry. I'm from Kentucky. Does it make a difference? <laughs> Rare Louisiana cuisine you can only get here in New Orleans. I love the ambiance. I'm not sure what is up with this particular artistic motif. Some nice looking leather locks. One of my personal traditions pretty much every year is to have breakfast at Daisy Dukes at least once. I need to try this place called Mother's I've been told about, but Daisy Dukes is really good stuff. Open 24 hours and uh, has various good stuff. I believe I had like an alligator omelet here one year. As you can see, they've washed off Bourbon Street because in the morning, Bourbon Street generally smells like piss, vomit, and regret. Still, it's a good time. All right, we got video set up going on here in track two. Cole and Curtis setting things up for us. 
Laptop's almost ready once I can get some Wi-Fi to sync all the files. And we should be good to go to record NOLACON 2019. Black one is about ready to go. Everything's been tested, so that should be good. And the vendors are out here setting up. Hello. And Chris has helium for some reason or another. We'll, we'll figure out more stuff about that later on. All right, NOLACON's not quite open yet, but back here is the registration desk and a little bit of con swag. Got anything to say for the camera, Mike? Cool. Welcome. <laughs> hey, we got some cool stuff for you. So I see. I'll have to pick up some more stickers later on. We are about seven minutes from opening, and as you can see, people are filing in, so all good. <laughs> Hi, Gary. What do we got going on here? A little bit of Lockbrook Village. Yippee! Hi, right, Fuzzin' Up. How's it going? Hey, we're running the CTF here. We are here on behalf of the Paranoids, which is the security team at Verizon Media. The CTF itself is actually a hardware hacking challenge that's embedded and built into this board here. You connect to it over serial port and get 15 or so levels. Robert here has designed uh, the challenges. Some it starts easy, but it gets really hard. Cool. Um, we've got four people who managed to put points on the board. So um, cool beans. We got prizes and shirts and stuff too, man. And you're performing here eventually, aren't you? Yeah, Saturday night. Cool beans. See you yeah. then. See ya. Thank you. Try it again. Okay, ready? Yes. Oh my god. That's nice. I'm having somebody else hold it. No, I think you know that. Rest in peace, Grumpy Cat. Getting ready for the Saturday night party. Got N80 from Dual Call up there and Fuzzy Knop. Had to show all 10 to get those beads. Raise your hand if you got bad skills. Keep it up if you got bad skills. Make a fist if your party's always ready. Shout it out, what you roll? Raise your hand if you got bad skills. Keep them up high if you got bad skills. Make a fist if your party's always ready. Shout it out, let them know we roll. Alright, Chris is strong brought this thing in, a body lock. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but basically the idea is to be unpickable because you can't actually get to where the pins are. Neat stuff.
Okay, it's Sunday, and we're about to start day three of NOLACON 2019. Okay, we're here at the registration desk at NOLACON, and there's some weird white powdery substance every place. We're not quite sure what it is. We're doing investigation. And the rain is broken out, cleansing the streets. A good thunderstorm is like nature's air conditioning. We are now technically post NOLACON 2019, so made my annual trip to Felipe's to get a chimichanga. Okay, as I said before, NOLACON is officially over for 2019, but I'm still here hanging out. I highly recommend you spend an extra day, leave on late Monday if you can, because there's a lot of cool stuff to see around the French Quarter, which is what I'm going to try to show you probably in the next few segments. Since I plan on doing more recording on Bourbon Street tomorrow, I figured I'd walk along the waterfront here in New Orleans and give you a little bit of a taste of that. It is awfully pretty. Steamboats seem like a lot of fun. I've been thinking about doing an A-Sides Louisville where we essentially rent out the Bell of Louisville and uh, have an A-Sides where essentially you have to get at the boat at a certain time, but then just travel up and down the Ohio River for a bit giving talks. What do y'all think? This whole putting street names on the ground here in New Orleans is a great idea, especially if someone happens to be in New Orleans really drunk and crawling back to the hotel. It really helps them to be at the right eye level view to be able to figure out which way they're going little background history of the city I'm in. And here's the original French Market coffee stand. Cafe Dumont. If you want some bananas, this is the place to go. Plenty of powdered sugar though. So all you hacker types who wear black shirts everywhere, you may want to change to something like in white or gray before you come here to eat because you will get powdered sugar all over you. Figured I'd give you all a little bit of Jackson Square action. It's awfully nice here. There's a restaurant someplace off oh, in this corner area that I went to last year. Ezra hung out with me and that was some good stuff. But man, it looks like a pretty place to hang out. What's up, feathered rat? They love the pralines here. If you ever wonder where Mr. Bot gets all his little miniature hands to troll people with it, well, at least at Nolacon, I think he actually orders some. He gets them here at Rocket Fizz. Plenty of eclectic sodas and candies and other stuff. Ooh, unicorn. Ooh, I like those. Oh my goodness. I heard that. That's a vocal one. Love it. Some co workers said I should bring back some hot sauce here from New Orleans. So let's see what we got inside of here. Yeah, I don't think I want to go that high. Royal Street. This is the place where a lot of times you might want to eat. 
Just recording it because it's a real pretty building. I like this one a whole lot also. Place always seems closed. If you want to come look at various uh, cool historical arms, Royal Street 437. Neat stuff. I think they put away some of the stuff at night, but if you want to see old swords, old knives, muzzle loaders, and so forth, this is a pretty cool store to visit. Up ahead of us, we got Brennan's. Now, Brennan's is the original home of Bananas Foster, as I understand it. And I've ate there a few times. Definitely want to call ahead for reservations, however, to make sure you can get a seat. And I'll go ahead and record some of that here in a second. Royal Street is really pretty, and it's probably one of the better places to eat when you're here at NolaCon. Still here on Royal Street. As you can see, there's a whole lot of police presence in the French Quarter. They want to make sure that the uh, tourist money keeps coming in, so generally speaking, it seems the French Quarter is relatively safe. Everybody's mileage rate vary, I suppose. Here we have Old Absinthe House. Now, if you like the whole absinthe ritual where they put the sugar cube on the knife and they pour everything over it, light it on fire, all that stuff, this is a good place to come by. Okay, this is my anti-MySpace angles shot. <sighs> Just got back from walking around and I'm awfully glad I modified my air conditioner to supposedly go down to 50 degrees. Unfortunately, because of all the rooms around me, I suppose, it's only coming down to about 65 but oh man it's so much nicer to be here uh lovely in here and the rain earlier in the day was nice for cooling everything off but now it's a little bit muggy outside so i think i'll stay inside the hotel until it gets dark outside catch you later Alright, according to the Trekker's Guide to New Orleans, 204 Decatur Street should be the closest to where Cisco's dad's restaurant would be. Even though the descriptions in the uh, various episodes make it to be in walking distance of Audubon Park, there really isn't any place in modern day New Orleans that's that much in walking distance of Audubon Park. We found some bugs at NolaCon. About to do my annual walk all the way up and all the way back down Bourbon Street. We'll see what I see. What exactly is a bicky? I'm kind of confused. It is a very pretty courtyard in there, though. I do enjoy Bourbon Street. Keep in mind, though, that a large portion of the stores here seem to be, well, selling slushies, buy the slice pizza, a whole lot of voodoo shops and so forth, booze of various variety, and, of course, strip clubs galore which are more down that direction. Really love the architecture though. Don't let Sarah Silverman see all the road signs. Who knows what you'll think. This is a cool little bar. It's currently closed. I got up early enough to where I didn't have to endure the worst of the heat. But supposedly this was a blacksmith shop originally owned by one of the famous pirates in the area. Head across the street to get back in the shade. It's a cool looking building. 
as you get further down Bourbon Street, things become a lot more residential. Most of the stuff, as far as stores is concerned, is sort of in like the first half mile away from Canal Street. Getting close to the end of Bourbon Street, not quite there yet. Gotten down to about the end of Bourbon Street. Splits up up here. And it's about a mile or so, I guess, grand total. As you can see, by the time you get to this end, it's pretty much all residential. Getting some more video of the building just because I really like it. Apparently there's a hotel also. The Funky Pirate. Keep in mind Bourbon Street is almost always under construction of some kind or another. This is the fourth time I've been to New Orleans and I've never been actually inside of Armstrong Park, so I think I'd give it a shot and take a look. They're not doing a boil right now. I wish they were because then you could see a bunch of squirming crawfish in this tray here. But it does smell great. Well, the trip is essentially over. Just waiting for my flight back. Hope to see you all at NOLACON next year.